Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We just hit 20k subs, which is super dope. So keep up the good work. Uh, let's work our way up to 2100 subs, guys. Keep it rolling. Uh, check out all my betting links in the description below. Really great promos, especially with Bet M with BetMGM. Get up to 1500 in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't hit. So go ahead and check that out in the description below. Other great promos and boosts for MLB as well. For most of the books in the description today. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate to close out the weekend. Starting with the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Arizona plus 175 with the over-under at 9.5. Arizona coming into this matchup four and five. The Braves five and two. Pitching for Arizona is Ryan e. Nelson with an ERA of 13.50. Pitching for the Braves is Chris Sale with an ERA of 3.38. Nelson, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up four runs, had two strikeouts. Sale, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Arizona losing back-to-back -back games to the Braves, eight to nine, five to six. I mean, it's been a run, one-run game in both games here. Uh, Braves have just been able to push through. Arizona is three and nine against Atlanta. The over sit in four out of the last five on the road against Atlanta, so maybe the over could be a play today. Um, yeah, it's been a tough one for Arizona. Haven't been able to get over that hump, and um, I think I got to roll with the Braves at home here. I do like Sale on the mound. Nelson, not too great in his first start. I think I'm going to lean with Atlanta at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 125. Pirates plus 105 with the over-under at 9. Baltimore coming into this matchup 5-3. and three. The Pirates 7-2. and two. Pitching for the Orioles is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 5.06. Pitching for the Pirates is Marco Gonzalez with an ERA of 1.80. Kramer, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Gonzalez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Baltimore losing to the Pirates yesterday, 5-4. to four. Nice, nice bounce back for Pittsburgh. Baltimore. Uh, they are just 1-4 on the road against Pittsburgh, so they've had their struggles on the road here. The under set in Pittsburgh, 5 of their last 7 at home, so maybe the under could be a play today. Um, and um, yeah, this one's tough. It's been a bounce back and forth series, and um, I think Pirates are a good value today. Gonzalez looked good in his debut. And uh, I'm going to take the Pirates plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Washington Nationals. Phillies opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Nationals plus 130 with the over under at eight and a half. Phillies coming into this matchup four and four. The Nationals two and six. Pitching for the Phillies is Christopher Sanchez with an ERA of 3.60. Pitching for the Nationals is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 5.06. Sanchez, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Gore, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs, had six strikeouts. Uh, the Phillies coming off back-to-back -back wins against Washington. Uh, they've looked pretty good in this series so far. Washington's been struggling to score the Phillies, they're 5-2 and two against Washington. 15-5 and five on the road against Washington, where they've been really good here. The Unders hit in five of their last seven against Philadelphia, so maybe the Under could be a play today. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Phillies on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the New York Yankees. The Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Toronto plus 130 with the over-under at 8.5. Toronto coming into this matchup four and five. The Yankees seven and two. Pitching for Toronto is Bowden Francis with an ERA of eleven point eight one. 
Pitching for the Yankees is Lewis Gill with an ERA of 1.93. Francis, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up seven runs, had seven strikeouts. Gill, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Toronto losing to the Yankees yesterday, 9-8 in a close one. Uh, Yankees bouncing back after that bad loss like they had, which I figured they were going to bounce back yesterday. Toronto is just 2-4 and four against the Yankees, so they've had their struggles against New York here. Um, the under's hitting the Yankees for their last five against Toronto, so maybe the under could be a play today, like what I saw from the Yankees. Uh, Francis did not look good in his debut, giving up those seven runs here. Uh, Gill looked really good in his in his start as well. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take the Yankees at home. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up. Uh, just depends where you look. Uh, looks like Cincinnati's opening up as a home favorite at minus 110. Mets plus 100 with the over-under at 9. Mets coming into this matchup 2-6. and six. The Reds 5-3. and three. Pitching for the Mets is Sean Manea with an ERA of 0. Pitching for the Reds is Andrew Abbott with an ERA of 3.38. Uh, Manea, his last start, he pitched 6 innings. Gave up 0 runs. Had 8 strikeouts. Abbott, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 2 runs. Had 4 strikeouts. The Mets coming off a Cincinnati loss yesterday, 9-6. A uh, nice bounce back for Cincinnati, losing that game before. The Mets, you know, they are just 1-5 and five on the road. 2-4 and four against Cincinnati here, so they've had their struggles there. The overs hit in Cincinnati's four of their last five at home, so maybe the over could be a play today, especially after last game. I still just don't love the Mets. Um, yeah, I don't love the Mets, and uh, I'm going to fade them. Give me the Reds at home. Next matchup, we've got the Oakland Athletics versus the Detroit Tigers. Detroit opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Oakland plus 160 with the over-under at 8.5. Oakland coming into this matchup 2-7. and seven. Detroit 6-2. and two. Pitching for Oakland is Joe Boyle with an ERA of 23.62. Pitching for Detroit is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 1.50. Boyle, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up seven runs, had four strikeouts. Flaherty, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Oakland, coming off a Detroit sweep yesterday, four to zero. A nice win for Oakland. Yeah, just a bad loss for Detroit here. Um, Oakland is just uh, three and six on the road. They've had their road struggles. Um, I think I'm gonna take my chances. I don't think Oakland's gonna have two great back-to-back -back games here. I think Detroit definitely gets the things moving today. And uh, we got Boyle coming off a seven-run game and two innings pitched. Give me the Tigers at home. Next matchup, we've got the Chicago White Sox versus the Kansas City Royals. Royals opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The White Sox plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. White Sox coming into this matchup 1-7. The Royals 5-4. Pitching for the White Sox is Garrett Crochet with an ERA of 1.38. Pitching for the Royals is Alec Marsh with an ERA of 1.29. Crochet, his last already pitched 7 innings. Gave up 1 run. Had 8 strikeouts. Marsh, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. The White Sox, one and nine in their last ten. Um, yeah, three straight losses against the Royals here. They've only gotten two runs so far in this series. Uh, the Royals have just dominated. They've looked great. Uh, haven't hit as well these last two games, but, you know, they still played great defense. The White Sox, 0-5 against the Royals. 1-7 on the road against the Royals here. And, uh, yeah, I think I got to roll with the Royals at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Cleveland plus 110 with the over-under at 8. Cleveland coming into this matchup 7-2. and two. 
the Twins 3 and 4. Pitching for the Guardians is Tristan McKenzie with an ERA of 10.80. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 54. McKenzie, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up four runs, had two strikeouts. Ober, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up eight runs, had one strikeout. He had not a great start for Ober. Cleveland, they're on a four-game winning streak, back-to-back -back wins against Minnesota. So they've been very good these last two games here. Uh, Minnesota, one and four in their last five. Cleveland, they're five and two against Minnesota, seven and two on the road. The unders hit in seven of their last eight on the road against Minnesota. So they, uh, the overs definitely, I'm sorry, the under has been a good play. And yeah, I just don't love over uh, eight runs in his one inning start against the Royals. Uh, do not love that here. And uh, Cleveland's been great value all series. I mean, they've been underdog back to back games. I, they should be favorites. Give me uh, the Guardians plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Seattle Mariners versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 120. The Mariners plus 100 with the over-under at nine. Seattle coming into this matchup four and five. The Brewers five and two. Pitching for Seattle is Emerson Hancock with an ERA of 5.06. Pitching for the Brewers is Colin Rhea with an ERA of 1.80. Hancock, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had one strikeout. Rhea, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Uh, Seattle coming off a Brewers win. A nice bounce back for Seattle, who's had a rough stretch. Brewers, uh, yeah, tough loss for them. Seattle, one and five against Milwaukee, though they've had their struggles. The unders hit in four out of their last six on the road against the Brewers here, so maybe the under could be a play today. Um, Colin Rio coming off a great start, giving up one run. Um, I like the Brewers to bounce back here. Uh, we've seen, still seen Seattle struggle a bit during this stretch, and uh, it was a nice bounce back win for Seattle, but. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to still take the Brewers at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Miami Marlins versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 140. The Marlins plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Marlins coming into this matchup 0-9. The Cardinals 5-4. Pitching for the Marlins is Max Meyer with an ERA of 3.60. Pitching for the Cardinals is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 2.57. Meyer, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Gibson, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Uh, Miami, yeah, the last winless team in MLB. Two straight losses to the Cardinals. It's just been brutal for Miami here. Uh, they're 0-5 on the road against St. Louis. 0-6 oh, against St. Louis. So they've just been horrible against the Cardinals here. And um, Cardinals 5-0 and at home against Miami. The overs hit in six of their last nine against Miami. So maybe the overs are a good play today. And um, yeah, I think I'm still going to roll with the Cardinals at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Chicago Cubs. Dodgers opening up. Actually, it's looking like a pickup scenario. Both teams minus 110 with the over-under at 8.5. Dodgers coming into this matchup 8-3. The Cubs 5-3. Pitching for the Dodgers is Gavin Stone with an ERA of 5.40. Pitching for the Cubs is Shota Imanaga with an ERA of 0. Stone, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 3 runs. Had 6 strikeouts. Imanaga, his, uh, first, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts. L.A. coming off a 4-1 to win against the Cubs yesterday. Nice win for L.A., uh, the Cubs. Yeah, tough loss, ending their one streak they were on. Dodgers are 15-4 against the Cubs, 7-2 on the road against the Cubs here. The overs hit in four out of the last five between the two, so maybe the over could be a play. Yesterday was definitely not an over day. Uh, but I expect better hitting both teams today. And um, 
Yeah, Imanaga looked really good in his debut here. Um, for me, I'm just riding the Dodgers, man. They've just been they've been profitable. They've been winning. And um, I'm going to take the Dodgers on the road. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Colorado Rockies. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Rockies plus 135 with the over-under at 11.5. Rays coming into this matchup 4-5. and five. The Rockies 2-7. and seven. Pitching for the Rays is Ryan Pepiot with an ERA of 9.53. Pitching for the Rockies is Dakota Hudson with an ERA of 0. Pepiot, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 6 runs. Had 3 strikeouts. Hudson, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 0 runs. Had 2 strikeouts. Tampa Bay coming off a Colorado win. Uh, Colorado, it's definitely been a bad start to the season for them here. Tampa Bay is 8-2 against Colorado. The overs hit in 6 of their last 8 on the road against Colorado. So they've been very good against Colorado here. Um, yeah, Hudson did look good in his uh, actually his debut, giving up 0 runs here. Pepiot giving up 6 runs. Not Don't love that here, but... Um, and this one's tough. I just, I just it could just comes down to I don't I just don't trust the Rockies. That's as simple as that here. The over is always a great play in Colorado, and uh, I just think I'm going to take the Rays on the road here. Next matchup, we've got the San Diego Padres versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus one seventy five. The Padres plus one forty with the over under at eight. Padres coming into this matchup five and six. The Giants three and six. Pitching for the Padres is Matt Waldron with an ERA of 9.0. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb with an ERA of 6.52. Waldron, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had seven strikeouts. Webb, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. The Padres. Uh, coming off a Giants win yesterday, 4-0, to zero, big win for them. Just been a, a yeah, a, a, a weird series to say the least. Both teams splitting games. They played before, they've split games. Uh, San Francisco, yeah, looked bad yesterday. We'll see what they look like today. The unders hit in the Padres, five of their last five on the road against San Francisco, so maybe the under could be a play today. And uh, yeah, Padres getting bigger plus money today with how bad the Giants looked yesterday. I'll take the Padres plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Los Angeles Angels. Boston opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Angels minus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Boston coming into this matchup six and three. The Angels five and three. Pitching for Boston is Tanner Houck with an ERA of zero. Pitching for the Angels is Chase Silseth with an ERA of 9.0. Uh, Hauk, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had 10 strikeouts, looked good in his debut. Silseth, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Boston coming off an Angels loss yesterday, couldn't really get anything going. Um, they are 4-1 and one on the road. The overs hit on the Angels 7 of their last 10. Definitely expect a, a higher scoring game today from both teams here. Um, but I do like I do like Hauk on the mound. And Silseth really didn't look that great in his start, giving up some runs. And I like Boston to bounce back here. And uh, I'm going to take a shot with the Red Sox on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 115. The Astros minus 105 with the over under at 10 and a half. Astros coming into this matchup 2 and 7. The Rangers 6 and 2. Pitching for the Astros is Ronel Blanco with an ERA of 0. Pitching for the Rangers is Dane Dunning with an ERA of 4.26. Blanco, his last start, he pitched 9 innings. Gave up 0 runs, had 7 strikeouts, coming off an amazing start on the mound. Dunning, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. And Houston, they've just looked horrible in the series so far. They've scored two runs in back-to-back -back games. Rangers have been hitting on them the whole series so far. Um, 
They're one and four against the Rangers. The overs hit in the Rangers 10 of their last 13 against Houston. So maybe the overs are a good play today. Blanco was great in his last start, but man, they've just been horrible on offense this series. And um, Rangers have been the, the better team here. Houston's still struggling. Uh, I don't think Blanco is going to have the pitching game he had last time. So uh, I think I'm going to take the Rangers at home in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.